What's up, Berserker Patriots? So, I don't make videos like this anymore because obviously they took my rights away. You know what I mean? Which isn't supposed to happen in America, but it does. Okay, so, but I got people asking me right now because they're scared about all the stuff that's going on in our town right now with the Venezuelan gangs, the Haitians doing stupid shit, all these mass criminal aliens that are being flooded into our town for the past nine months now, and it's getting insane. But they say when I'm walking, when I'm shooting my pistol, it goes all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna show you an easy way to learn how to draw, drive, and walk while you're shooting, so you're shooting a straight line. Okay, a lot of people are just walking like I'm walking right now. You know what I mean? They're walking, and they're, they're trying to fire, come out. They're using the old school way of holding their pistol. Sorry, this another reason I don't do these videos is because um, I don't have anyone to hold the camera for me right now because nobody wants to get involved because they're scared to get attacked, which sucks. Um, yes, I'm really relaxed right now, and it's not my professional setup that I would normally have, but we have fully functional airsoft. It has about the kick of a 22, but it has the actual weight of, I would say probably a Glock 19, um, some kind of full-sized um, pistol. It's definitely a lot heavier than a subcompact or any kind of concealed carry. Um, obviously, this wouldn't be the size of anything that was concealed carry. Um, it does a slide block. Once you 15, 15 in, and it does do a slide block, so you can do a slide block reload, and it's air powered. So when you're walking, you see this parking lot line? Any straight line will work. Okay. Practice walking on a, on a balance beam, sort of, when you're trying to get into a CTV situation. You know what I'm saying? Drive the gun, so you're going to probably be concealed carrying. So you're going to pull straight out. Don't try to do any fancy stuff like this. Or if you want to fire from the hip, you can fire from the hip here. If somebody's close to you, and you'd be firing from the hip. That's how that works, and then you work your way up fire and firing. So if you have a good grip and a good drive on your pistol, the way I say it is close your eyes, okay, drive the firearm and see where your sight is once you've driven it with your eyes closed, open your eyes, okay. It gives you a um, sight picture automatically when you fire. So if your eyes are closed and you come up right there, I'm on the spot. You see how that did a slide lock reload? That was number 15. So if you want to practice reloading and slide lock reload, it does that. And it does a slide lock reload automatically when it's empty. Watch. So I'm going to fire it with two fingers like this. See? So it automatically slide locks. So, here, you have to actually go through and reset the trigger, too. So, with that kicking, it's not the recoil of a firearm, guys. But if you're used to shooting a firearm and your rights have been taken away and you know what recoil is, everything about airsoft can be associated to real live fire. The recoil is the only thing you need to get down. So... Sorry about the shitty quality of my video. I love you guys. So, up, climb out. This isn't how I, I'd just be in a normal ready stance. Normally, one foot's a little, a little farther in front than the other. Sometimes, I'm in that stance. It all depends on what I'm doing and where I'm at. Sometimes, you're in a stance like this where you're trying to get around an obstacle. Nothing's ever gonna be the same. CQB and clearing your driveway, clearing your house, clearing your everything, it's not a movie. It's sloppy. It's disgusting. It's not fun. It's not a movie. You're not just going to get the guy and you're, he's done. It doesn't work like that, okay? You're going to be freaking out. Your heart rate's going to be over 160. So what I want you to do is I want you to get out. I want you to run back and forth in your yard. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Raise your heart rate. 
And then once you've raised your heart rate, the straight line. Get used to walking the straight line. Just, just draw out. Get used to walking the straight line. See how my upper half is squared off and straight? And the only thing that's moving are my legs. So I'm not just walking like this. Because as you can see, the gun flops up, it goes back and forth. Okay. The reason, even though it's not a live firearm, no matter what, any type of firearm you're using, proper firearm safety. Okay. Now, the grip I prefer when I'm shooting a firearm. So the way I have guys do it, if they're using live fire, because I can't, I can use black powder and stuff like that. So I know still what the recoil's like, and it's twice as much with black powder. So I'll be able to have them do an index or an appendix carry. You know what I'm saying? I'll have them do safe carry and then get used to driving from here. So everybody's like, but you're off balance when you're right here. Yeah, you know what? I know how to stabilize my core. I know how to stabilize my core. So I've, I've fired a lot of pistols in my lifetime. Not recently, law enforcement, but in my lifetime. Okay, so I'm used to it. So you get your drive. If you want to get in your stance, say somebody's coming up, boom. So everybody always wants to get used to aiming, aiming, aiming. Look, if you're holding your firearm properly, you should be able to hold it right here at the front of your chest. That's a straight line. If that person's in front of you, I'm going to hit him from there. I promise you, because the way my gun is and it's not flopping to the right it's not going up and down okay you don't want to fuck the trigger you know what i'm saying you're not trying to have sex with a girl it's not bam okay it's you're squeezing it you're just squeezing it you're being gentle you're not flopping on it with your finger like this only use that part of your finger okay and don't go putting aftermarket triggers on a firearm unless you're proficient with it because most aftermarket <laughs> uh, um, under or over mil spec, like say a, a four pound trigger, that's a hair trigger. You're gonna touch that. If you drop your gun, it's gonna fire. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna happen. If you've never dropped a firearm, then you haven't done a lot of shootings. Everybody drops a firearm one time or another. But start off with just regulation. Learn how to shoot and then upgrade everything on your, you know, a red dot, whatever, that's cool, a light, you know, whatever you want, laser sight. The easiest way for people that can't shoot at all, get a laser dot inside your house, wherever that laser dot's pointing is where your bullet's going. You know what I'm saying? Get it sighted in properly. You know, just learn to walk with just your knees, not your hips, not your upper body. Your upper body stays straight. Say, now say I'm walking this straight line. I'm walking my straight line. Say, if I'm gonna have to go around the corner, and I want to compress myself, I would just compress, and then as I get to the apex of the corner, there's a corner right here, okay? We use this piece of wood as an example. As I get to the apex, see, I'm keeping it on sight until I get to where it's gonna be exposed. And then once I get to the apex, you know what I'm saying? As soon as I pop around that corner and I see my bad guy, I'm firing. I'm not stopping until he hits the ground. Center mass, okay? Or if they're wearing body armor, hips, knees, throat. Do you understand? Because if you're from here to that, say, two feet in front of me and I can't hit you, um, I, I, I probably shouldn't have been shooting the firearm in the first place to protect myself. So it's not that difficult. It's all about how you hold your firearm. <laughs> it's that simple. Everybody focuses on, the, they want to focus on the rear or the front reticle. The last time I, I, I shot, and when I shoot, I'll show you with my black powder sometimes. Half the time, I just look in the direction I'm going to fire, and I, I fire and I hit it, you know? Especially if you've got a red dot on, and you get used to that thing, you should be spot on every time, you know? Just get used to the recoil of your firearm. Get used to stabilizing. You should be stabilizing with the front hand. How I've got it up on the trigger, trigger guard and then all the way up underneath the slide. You're not trying to thumb fuck the slide, okay? Keep your thumb off of the slide, especially if you're going to attempt to get a reduced um, spring, recoil spring, in your firearm. That way you could shoot faster and smoother. You know what I mean? So if you're going to do that, definitely get used to 
try to get used to a little more i prefer a little more aggressive the more meat you've got on it okay make sure that the inside of your hand is all the way up in that beaver tail just make sure it's all the way up in the beaver tail and these are the fingers that are working these aren't this is just your trigger finger and this one's not doing much these are the fingers that are working let me show you sorry i put it down for a minute the dog's laying all over the place in here so i'm not in here right now she's all over the floor for some reason she's got a bath so the beaver tail is here make sure you're up in here when you get into your beaver tail you know what I'm saying? All the meat you can get in there. And these two fingers. So this should be the same as if I have this on here. Because when you start pulling that pinky in, you want to you have to start compensating for your pinky trying to pull down. When you just pull these two fingers in and you tighten up on your thumb here into the groove, it creates a suction into your hand right into the back of your hand it creates a suction and it kind of just stabilizes and it doesn't move see how it just jumps backwards it goes back like this instead of up like this or over like this because of the way I'm holding it you should just be able to fire with like this if you want to this should be what's sucking in your hand now when you start pulling with your pinky ah, makes it want to drop a little bit because you you anticipate you know what I'm saying stop anticipating a lot of times what I'll do is I'll have them somebody else hand him the firearm the person that I'm training at the moment and I'll have them hand it to them thinking it's a loaded chamber, but it's not. That way when they pull the trigger, they see which way the gun drops. And then the next time they fire, they're ready for that anticipation. Just be loose. Don't be rigid. Be loose. Be tight here. Loose here. Okay, tight here. Loose here that's the best I can do right now with nobody to hold a camera and no actual firearms to fire for you that's the best I can do and we live in a state that says they've made it easier for people to get their rights back but they actually made it twice as difficult and twice as expensive um, it's now close to 150 to 200 thousand dollars to be able to get your rights back in the state of Florida and now there's only two ways to get that that's a federal judge applies for a pardon for you or the governor gives you a pardon. So all that bullshit where DeSantis said he was making it easier, all he did was make it easier to register to vote, which it's exactly the same. It's not any easier. It's exactly the same as it was. Um, so all this shit you're seeing about these awesome constitutional laws of Florida is a fucking lie. It's not happening. These criminal aliens wouldn't be here if they couldn't get driver's license and um, be legal in our state, would they? No, they can go somewhere where they could be legal and buy all the shit they want. So DeSantis, F you, bud. You haven't protected our state at all, and your supporters are blind to it. But they're not supporting you for anything anymore because pff, there ain't no chance any Trump supporters ever going to vote for you to get in office for anything after everything you've done to veterans in the state of Florida. I love you guys. Be blessed. Have a great day.